Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, into the Nexus Gaming Series. We are here in Division E East, and it is going to be on the left-hand side, the Macro Machines with the Diablo, Tychus, Deckard, Blaze, and a Jaina. Over on the side of Hardstuck Support Group, we are going to be seeing an Anubrak, Li Ming, Brightwing, Vala, and Sonya. Vala is going to be going into Puncturing Arrow at 1, and we'll go ahead and see how many level 1 stacks will Vala have by the end of the game. Will she have 30 or more, or 29 or less? Get your Gambas in. Now's the time to do it. you got two minutes. We riot if there's not a DK run every day. I I just want I want like I want a DKC one, two, and three race. That's what I want. I want a DKC one, two, and three race. That or DKC three, a hundred and what is it, four percent or something like that? Hundred and two percent? Hundred and four percent? Either way. Th th those are those are like those are my dreams. A DKC three high high percent completion or a DKC one two and three race I like complete co collect collectible runs yeah I think with the uh, with the banana birds and everything I think Donkey Kong Country 3 does a fantastic job of having the extra percent uh, for like the secret percent to finish the game Granted, Donkey Kong Country 2 has the Lost World, so there is that as well. So there is there is a high percent for, for the second game as well. Burrow Charge out from Random Engineer, who's able to back away, and that Beetle Boy is not going to be threatened just yet, as he does have the Beetles at level 1, the Legion of Beetles, which have that spell armor. Top lane, we're going to be seeing Sonya versus the Blaze. Juke City going to get the Jet Propulsion. A lot of pressure on to the Sonya, who spins back into the wave. Get a little bit of healing, get a little bit of wave clear. Oh wow, that's some good gambas, chat. Holy crap. I'm very, very, I'm very much enjoying the, the high stakes gambling we've all gotten into here. Random Engineer just literally just kind of mounted, gets right onto this point without any sort of slow. Poet trying to back away. Ratson is able to push this, uh, is able to push the Anubarak away. Decker Kane does go down. Omar is looking to bring the pain, and that's a reset for Li Ming. Less than 5Gs, what is this kindergarten? <laughs> oh, crush. And of course, you know, for the live cast of the game, we'll do who wins the game. Because for these ones, you can actually look up who wins. So we always do the fun predictions for the games where you could figure out who wins. And for the live games, we'll just do who who's going to win. And that'll be happening very, very soon. I'm excited for our live game tonight. Should be a really good time. It's a playoff matchup of uh, Gilly Shirka Bingo Night versus Tactical Feed. A rematch from two weeks ago. Though the loser of this one is out of the season. The winner continues on up against Running Wild, if I'm not mistaken, later on next week. In a best of five as well. Next week, the matches will be best of fives. Uh, all right, so we have fours on both sides. I'm just kind of skimming through to see if anything really pops out to me. Jaina does have the Fingers of Frost at level one. She's got four stacks on that. Arcane Intellect at level 4 for her as well, which I believe is going to give some mana back as well as you have the extra spell power. So you can actually get 20% spell power between the 1 and the 4, so long as you're above that 75% mana. And the level 1 is going to synergize extremely well with the Arcane Intellect, since your mana is going to be coming back at 2 per second. But that's an additional 2 per second on top of your base scaling for the Jaina, which we can check out a little bit later. Right now, let's take a look and see how this objective phase is going to go for both of these teams. I'm going to pull away the Talon's going to get a little bit of a zoom out here. Actually, face shift in from the bright wing. We can zoom right back in. Zoom back right in. Zoom back right in. Rats in. Trying to push away the or push around the enemy into the scroll of ceiling from Deckard Kane. We do have the 50% in favor for the side of Hardstuck Support Group as they have burned down Alarian quite quickly. And we have Belleth on the left, quite healthy on the HP. Dahakas, excuse me, Diablo steps in. Root onto the Brightwing, but the fight and the damage is still coming through from the side of Hardstuck Support Group. It's looking like they should be able to get this first objective. Though, as I look on the left-hand side, we do have a lot of damage coming through from the Tychus and the Jaina. And the slowing down of the Siege onto Alarian, but it's not going to be enough. 2,185 shielding will be over to the side of the Belleth through the top lane. And we sit 0-2 to two in kills in favor for the side of Hardstuck Support Group. They've got the momentum in their favor. What are they able to do with this first Immortal of the game? 
Five stacks for the Vala still as we have big damage into Diablo. He goes down 57 souls. He's not going to be able to respawn. And that's a major point of control being set back for the next 10 seconds. Blaze in bottom lane. So all you have is some zoning from Decker Kane potentially. But it, yeah, a little bit of zoning right there as we also will be seeing the Scroll of Identify at level 1 does give the extra, excuse me, it's Field Study. Scroll of Identify is the other one, which is the stacking. But Scroll of uh, Field Study will give some spell power, which does affect his potions as well. Another root coming out, connecting onto two. Tower shots onto the Bright Wing. Arcane 13 trying to, or Arcane 13th trying to uh, chase in here. Ratson does land the Fire Stomp and everything necessary to get the kill. Seven talent for both sides. And a random engineer is able to back away as Omar, looking for maybe another Q, just gonna play it safe as Sonia pushes down onto Juke City in bottom lane. Alrighty, so top lane does have the Siege Giant camp, as well as the bottom. Actually, Sonia leaves the Impaler camp from bottom, okay. Interesting. Sit patiently. 76 souls for the Diablo and Rising. 13 stacks on the... In the rhythm for the Tychus as uh, Poet sitting in the bush waiting to step in here. Drops a blizzard down. Random Engineer needs to back away. Gets the face shift from Brightwing. Trying to avoid the scroll of sealing from the Deckard right there. A nice kind of wiggle and wobble away. Sonya, she cleared the wave. She's going to go for a camp. Actually show the Sonya vision really quickly as we do know that the blaze is rotating down. He does show and wave. Not threatening Sonya just yet. She's lining up. I like the way that Sonya's lining up for these uh, smashes. Se seismic splash. Excuse, seismic slam. Excuse me. Uh, angling that way just does get the extra damage onto the other impaler so you can just clear the camp faster. With 10 talents here coming around the corner for both sides, let's go ahead and check out what our other, excuse me, what our other numbers look like as we haven't had a chance to look at the damage healing experience yet in this series. Spear on Sonya. I'm just, I'm just, I'm watching things and waiting very, very patiently to see what's going to happen. Okay, objective phase is up, so it's just going to be race between teams. Diablo putting pressure onto the Anubarak as there was a little bit of the... Oh, there's the potential stun, but it actually, excuse me, I'm, I was reading it backwards. I got that immortal blindness. Uh, the flip was into his own stun, so Anubarak was absolutely fine. Uh, shadow charge into the wall. Diablo finishes out souls. Ten talent here. Already here to the side of Hardstuck support group. Disintegrate, Blink Heal, Reign of Vengeance, Leap, and Cocoon. Does Li Ming go for... Okay, she's just going to blink around. Constantly throwing out those magic missiles, and that'll be another immortal to the side of Hardstuck Support Group. I, I keep saying they're building momentum, but man, they are putting pressure across the board with the 1 to 3 in kills, half a level lead, and this is going to be immortal into the bottom lane. How much siege can they actually get with the fort front gate already down? That's the question that I pose to this team. Bella through bottom lane. A new Brack takes out the sidewall. Scroll ceiling zones back the enemy for the time being. The Immortal still attacking from range as it does have some shielding. That shielding disc now dropping. Moves into melee. Rats in a little far forward here. We do have the uh, Water Elemental from Jaina, but it's going to be quickly cleared out. Double root. Ratson going for... Wow, that was a really weird interaction right there from the Diablo. Kind of seemed like he Shadow Charged through the Anubarak. Doesn't matter, though, because that is the fort to fall in bottom lane. Uh, Tychus a little split. There's the burrow in. The Impale to follow up, maybe. Big damage out from the Li Ming. Random Engineer doesn't have Cocoon for the next three seconds. Bay oh my god, that Reign of Vengeance was amazing. Leap is available for Sonya. She could look to leap in on some of these grouped up enemy heroes. A lot of members are grouped up quite a bit here. That's the Apocalypse. There's going to be a cleanse, the Soothing Mist. Stay well and listen. Out from the Decker Kane, but it's interrupted by the Som Sonya leap in. Poet is trying to find some damage. Will go down. So far, it's looking great to the side of Hardstuck Support Group as Vala continues to chase with the auto attacks. Got, probably going to have a Hungering Arrow soon. Might be able to vault into that as well. There's the reset vault. And Diablo goes down. Souls reset. He only consumes 75 because of that new level 10. When you hit level 10, you only consume 75 out of the 100. Some poke into bottom lane. A next objective phase, probably a minute and a half away. A great game, Murs. A very good game, Murs. 
So Impaler for top. You can even see the, the, the danger pings. Uh, for anyone wondering, the Immortals always show for the blue side. So if we were to hit the vision for Ratson, you can see on the minimap that it's top is the top is the axes, bottom is the shield. And if we were to swap vision, these the uh, the two objective phases swap points. There you go. You naturally always see the vision for the blue team. So top lane will be the red immortal, bottom area will be the blue immortal. If you are ever wondering, that is how the breakdown works for that one. So 13 will be here first for the side of Hardstuck support group. I'm just peeking into the top lane to see that massive wave, but it doesn't matter right now because the Apocalypse will be utilized by the Diablo. They're chasing it onto Brightwing, who does get the blink heal away. Cocoon on Tychus will expire. We've got about 50% of the Immortal chunk, nearly 50%. If it was 50, we would have seen the repositioning of the Immortals here, but that's not the case just yet. Mm, I'm, I'm, oh, okay, I thought the Anubarak uh, Impale was going to connect there. Not the case. Yeah, that is, that is a shredded Immortal. Oh my god. Buttspot, you're doing your best. You're really doing your best, Buttspot. Alright, so, top lane, Immortal. How much is Beleth slapping for right now? Beleth has got a full shield. He hits for 690 standard damage, nice, and 1,380 into structures, as that is a blaze. Goodbye, blaze. It was nice knowing you right there, as this Immortal will take down the wave, will take down the fort. Li Ming trying to actually burn this down a little bit faster, so no shots go out onto the shield and Immortal. Eh, look at the shielding, it's so thick you can't even see the separate bars in between. That's a, that's a thickly shielded immortal. Thick, thick shield boy. Uh, Blaze coming back in about five seconds. Impale from a new brack. There's a Draken laser drill that's zoning back the enemy's side. It's gonna be about 50% soon. Stay well and listen. Not interrupted. I thought it was going to be. Li Ming doesn't get the combo out in time and Sonya will fall. And I think with Sonya dead, and a new brack, he's just throwing back some CC here. I don't think he's gonna, oh wait, they're gonna step back in. This is really risky in my opinion. I think realistically, you back away. You got the keep front gate. You're gonna get the vast majority of this keep right here. It's gonna be around 25% if I'm not mistaken. I might actually go, no, I'll be around 25% HP. Between the Tychus damage to the Jaina as well. Maybe a little less than 25%, but it still is up and available. Bottom lane, we got 40 seconds on a camp. One minute 30 on the right, one minute 12 on the left, and top lane, 20 seconds away. Not a ton to do on the map right now, but you're already seeing some pings for the camps because, well, Seems like it's going to be Hardstuck Support Group making the plays and the members of Macro Machines doing a little bit of turtling, if you will. Easy enough. Okay, so let's take a peek into top lane. Siege camp as well. I feel like Macro Machines... Oh, actually, no, this is... I like this call. I was gonna say, Hardstick Support Group could just look for 16 then go for a fight, but Macro Machines are making a big play, in my opinion. Pushing up this wave is really good, though... Keep in top lane will go down before they can even hearth out. Yeah, yeah, they, they realize, okay, our hearth sits moot. Let's just get the fort, let's back out. They're not ending. Decker Kane obviously will be able to uh, control the end of the game right there. Deny any sort of uh, Hardstuck Support Group from ending very quickly, but we should have equal talent. Ooh, wait, hold on. I was gonna say we should have equal talent here soon, but not on this rotation. Juke City looking to live up to their name. Anubrak gets a little bit of a push over the far side of the wall with the uh, burrow right there, and that's gonna be a cocoon onto said Blaze. Leaping from Sony onto two in the back line. Ratson jumps in. There's Lee Ming with a big combo, big disintegrate. Juke City getting body blocked, or not anymore. Stay well, and listen, actually just opened up an opportunity. There's an apocalypse. From Diablo, no follow-up. Actually, a lot of follow-up onto Sonia. She does go down. Diablo finishes out souls. I woke up this morning with your voice shouting, Hot drinks really get you going. On repeat in my brain. Well, I'm glad I live rent-free in your brain, Ektar. Did you have a hot drink this morning? Did it get you going? 
I'm having some green tea right now, and I feel like I can conquer the world. I got me a hot drink. It's delicious. Why were you listening to hot drinks so much? I haven't played hot drinks on this stream in like days. Days. Speaking of, maybe we should play some hot drinks later. Uh, objective fight is gonna be looking good to the side of Hardstuck support group. Li Meng trying to throw the damage over the far side of the wall right over there. Uh, Vala hungering arrow, does it end? Uh, one more hungering arrow will be enough. Or a beetle or something. Uh, Sonya's gonna spin out. 14 stacks on the Vala right now. Top lane! Not a single auto from Jaina. Wow. Face shift from Brightwing. Comes through in time. Blink out from the uh, uh, Li Ming as well. Allows her to avoid some of the damage from the Decker Cane as we do have a burrow in from the Anubrak. Top lane keeps already down, so the Immortal goes to the more well prioritized and well, excuse me, the, well, the more well defended lane, and that is bottom. I had coffee and three hours of sleep, so it's got me going as much as anything short of cocaine was going to do. I think cocaine might have been stronger there, bud. I uh, never had have had cocaine, so I can't really talk about what it does or how it affects you outside of what we all know from the general media of it. But um, maybe you should just put cocaine in your coffee. You had cocaine? Well, you should be t saying that in Twitch chat. I don't know if you're allowed to say that in my Twitch chat, Akhtar. That's weird. You can't be just coming in here and talking about your 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 usage. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Never have I, uh, but I'm assuming on based on me portrayals. Yeah, exactly. Same. I I have no interest in it. The demon's attack has failed. I I already have. I already. I I can give myself panic attacks and heart palpitations without taking a drug. Okay. <laughs> I don't need a drug to do that. <laughs> I can. I can just. I can just think about. The, the LAN event or, or getting chosen to do uh, games done quick. I just think about those things and I can give myself a panic attack. Easy. Oh, sorry. Thought I missed my coaster there. I didn't want my tea to spill. Suckathon? I don't know what you're talking about. Man, that chili that chili dog stream was fun. That chili dog stream was fun. I wish I wish the, the chili dog sauce was more Detroit style, but hey, it was close. It was close. It was a good time. Nice and yummy. I actually ended up having hot dogs for dinner last night. Shadow Charge in from Diablo. Finishes out his devastating charge from level 13. Continued. 15 stacks for the Vala right now as the camp is invaded and stolen away. 3 to 8 in kills. Camps in bottom lane brawling out. Top lane could see a fight here. Sonya's got leap. Looking for an initiation. Doesn't see the angle. Random Engineer and the rest will back away. Feels like it's just like a waiting game for the side of Hardstuck support group. They just need like one good initiation and they might be able to find that here. Uh, as the next objective phase is up, I'm just going to jump onto the blue side vision real quickly, seeing what they're seeing. Sony with a few slams onto the ground as well. Mm, invade onto the potential camp. Diablo looking. Goes in with the apocalypse. There's the shadow charge. Li Ming is the target. Cocoon goes out onto Ratson. Blink away by Smack who's trying to back away. Blaze doesn't get enough damage. Blink heals from Brightwing are way too good. The camp is leashed. The fight continues. Spin from Sonya. She's finding some decent value. Leap is down for the next 50 seconds. Draken Laser Drill is actually clearing out the camp. Tyke is very low on the left side of our screen. Ratson goes in. Polymorph will be there. Tower shots coming out. Li Ming gets a reset. She can blink forward. She can chase. Omar needs one auto. One W, one Q. That should be enough right there. Uh, Zwydar, thank you for the, f uh, thank you for the brand new Prime Gaming. I will send your alert when we get out of game. Thank you very much for the support, my friend. Z Zvidar, Z Zwydar, I hope I said it right. Either way, thank you again for the brand new Prime. I didn't even have to go fishing and that Prime just flopped up on our boat. Thank you again. 50% on the Immortal, Random Engineer and the rest do have that level 20 talent tier advantage and they're going to start burning onto this Immortal quite quickly. 17 stacks for the Vala right now. So Believers uh, starting to feel a little shaky here. Doubters definitely feeling the payout already. This could be 
the Immortal that pushes to end game as we do have a decent shield on Belleth. And let's check those stats on this big, beautiful boy. We're going to be seeing uh, 958 standard damage and into structures nearly 2,000 damage. 116, excuse me, 100, oh my god, 1,916 damage into structures from this Immortal. Diablo in the flank position. Uh, he's going to back away. Okay, I was just jumping onto the vision of the of the members of Hardstuck support group, so that way we could see maybe uh, how everything was being initiated here. But the walk in through the uh, top lane. And Diablo goes in onto Omar this time. That's a lot of damage onto the Vala. She is going to be eradicated. Jaina finishes out her baseline stacking as we do have the Cocoon onto Diablo getting stunned out. Li Ming looking for the combo. Diablo goes down. Not enough souls to buy back in, and he'll be dead for the next 58 seconds. Li Ming with a Disintegrate just putting out some damage, but it's looking like this core is falling rapidly. Map number one is looking great to the side of Hardstuck support group as the Immortal still has all of its shielding, and that core has none. GG, well played over the side of Hardstuck support group. They take map one. Uh, thank you for the Prime Gaming. No message, but thank you for the Prime. Ah, delicious green tea. Alright, how many stacks for Vala? 29 or less. 29 or less. She had 18. I didn't remember that when we get into the live cast a game, I have to leave a delay from when, because uh, there's a delay on stream. I have to remember to delay out my channel prediction payouts and stuff like that. Need to make sure I do not do that. Uh, thank you again for the brand new Prime. Much appreciated, my friend. I don't know why, but I'm like mentally a day ahead. I don't know about anyone else. I'm I'm like I'm on I'm mentally on Thursday and I keep thinking tomorrow's Friday. I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm like mentally on Thursday, but It feels like it should be later in the week 100%. Okay, so I'm not just the only one. It's not just me day. Cuz I I think I literally said earlier today I was like tomorrow morning we have uh Tomorrow morning is the uh, Dark Souls crowd control stream, and I'm like, wait a minute, no, it's Wednesday. It's it's Wednesday. It is Wednesday. Ah, oh, damn, I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. Also, I said this in our meeting earlier day, and I'm gonna say it again. I can't stop thinking about Leon's tacos. I can't stop thinking about Leon's tacos. Uh, context, context. There is none. Uh, hold on one second. Context, uh, Leon Black. I'm about to make sausage, pepper, and onion. <sighs> my phone, my phone reminded me, like two days ago, I, I, uh, two days ago my phone reminded me of the time I went down to San Francisco to go see my friend that I've known since we were kids. Um, she had moved to San Francisco, I'd moved to Tahoe, so it's, it's a drivable distance. And I went to go visit her. And uh, I remember we went bar hopping, like I got there and she just got off of work. So we went bar hopping because uh, I had drove. I was like, I want a beer. Like, let's go, let's go have some beers and we'll go get some food. So we went bar hopping and uh, there, next to the, one of the bars that she took me to, there was a, it was a, it was a place that just like, it was like just um, like um, sausages and stuff. Like it was like, it was like brats and hot dogs and it was like specific to that so we got we got this delicious like i rarely ever put like the sauerkraut or like the the, the onions and stuff like that like with like a sausage but holy shit it was so freaking good like oh my god and my phone reminded me of that a couple days ago and i was like oh i miss it this is what leon black just randomly tagged me in yesterday literally yesterday leon black raw ass tags me on twitter look at these tacos Look at these tacos. Those look delicious. Oh my God. 
I have a gut feeling. I have a gut feeling that at some point this weekend, I'm getting tacos. I don't know when. I know from where. We're not getting Taco Bell. There's a there's a local place called Jalisco's. Uh, there's actually two of them in our town. It is based off of the literal place called Jalisco, Mex Mexico. Uh, there's Jalisco's in town. There's a, there's a Jalisco's in Midtown, and it's so, they make the best al pastor. They also make uh, lingua, which for anyone who doesn't know what lingua is, it is cow tongue. I have had lingua. It's it's softer. It's like a softer meat. It's not it's not really my jam. But it's really, like, it is very, very good. I do recommend it. I wanted to look something up on my phone really quickly, and I completely forgot what it is, so I'm just going to put my phone away. I've checked the Epic Store to claim a free game twice today, only to realize that's tomorrow, not today. Oh, man. All right, so it's not it's not just Day and I, Kalos. Like, it's, 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 it's a lot of us. It's a lot of us. I can't blame you. I can't blame any of you. Uh, I am all over the place this late in the day. I'm very sorry. Huh? Oh, that's what I was gonna do. Coffee, decaf, tea, and hot chocolate. Those are the hot drinks that you serve so good. Said. Hot cups come in two sizes. Small and large, you fill as the need arises. Coffee's holding time is 30 minutes, that's how long. It can stay there before it starts to taste too strong. Hot, hot, careful when you pour it. Hold it steady upon the counter, let it set. Pour it Imagine watching back the VOD and be like, what the fuck is Bahamut doing? Pop a top on a gig, so live every time. Wendy's coffee tastes so fine. Hot drinks. Where's Crush? It makes it easier to see. But if you're using the packets in your store, put it in the small cup and furthermore, add hot water up to the bottom. just vibing? Always. In. Put a lid on and serve it on a tray again. Get a small cup when you're ready for hot tea. Fill with hot water, it's easy as can be. Put the lid on and set the tea bag on the top. If they want lemon, it's very nice. Don't think twice. Give them guests a juicy slice. Hot All right, that's enough. Really get you going. That's enough hot drinks. That's enough hot drinks. All right. We are, we are, we are getting going. We got hot drinks. Okay, uh, so there is an Artanis this game. There's an Artanis this game. He is going Protector of Ire at level one. So... I think it's a good idea to do Artanis stacking. How many stacks for Artanis by the end of the game? We're gonna do a hundred or two hundred or more or one ninety nine or less. I feel like two hundred is the average, chat. I feel like two hundred is pretty easy to hit with an Artanis these days. Uh, so that will be our Twitch prediction getting into map number two. And let me make sure that the players on the right sides. Yes, they are. Let's go ahead and jump on in to map number two and get our prediction going. Welcome back to the okay. Nexus Gaming Series Division E East matchup of Macro Machines versus Hardstuck Support Group. And on the left-hand side, we have Stitches, Chromie, Tracer, Leoric, and Rhaegar. Over on the right-hand side, we got Hardstuck Support Group looking to make us uh, looking to make the series a quick 2-0. We've got a Gazlo, a Lucio, Artanis, Zarya, and Sonya. Let's start that prediction. How many dings for Artanis at level one? How many dings for Artanis at level one? He is going to be going Protector of Ire. You will see that in just a second. Two, one. Hot drink song Five. Bandit Bucks Redeem when? Mm, we could do that. I feel like I honestly play the song so much that it, it'd be like not a waste of your channel points, but it'd be like, it'd be just, I don't know. Maybe we'd, maybe, maybe. You know, it'd be really smart if there was a way that I could, as a streamer, have it so that when you do Twitch uh, redemptions, that it automatically does it and I don't have to do anything. Maybe I set one of those up for it. I know Day, Day kind of explained it to me on her stream once, uh, that there's like a, like a, a, there's like a program that you can use that like 
does all that stuff for it, but uh, maybe, 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 maybe. Or maybe we just make it an alert. Maybe we make it like a bit alert, you know? We'll have to see. Not the whole song, but the chorus. Yeah, exactly, Ty. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Could make it a bit alert for, like, some for some amount. Uh, Tannis going for the swap onto rats and will connect, and that is going to be a lot of damage on the stitches as we did have a recall from the... Uh, from the Tracer. Wow, only a thousand? Only one believer for the Artanis Dings. No doubters. No doubters on Protector of Ire. Huh. Interesting. Any gambers in chat? Can connect point redeems to audio or gifts or whatever. Yeah. Oh, that's what it is. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, the Lore at Lauren board. Yes. I remember, uh, I might not be saying that right. Li Liar Moran board? Sure. Just like that. Perfectly said. Yeah, because I know you have your Trin Gooses like that, I think, right? You use that for your Trin Gooses and, like, the small small game, big streamer sort of deal. Ah, thank you, Day. Thank you for the pronunciation on that. I appreciate it. Uh, Zarya goes down. Tracer to be traded. Sapper Camp comes through. I thought I was in the wrong zoom. And Smack is able to back away. Uh, Leork and Sonya is still going to be rotating. Wow, this, this Twitch prediction is just sad. Sad gambas. Thirty-two stacks for the Artanis right now. Twenty on the Zarya with the uh, maximum charge out of the one hundred and fifty. Hook out from Stitches. Gonna not connect and a little too late of a rotation. Both Sapper camps going over to the side of Hardstuck support group. I went all in. I appreciate it. Thank you. Everyone was off getting hot drinks. I that might have been the case. Yeah. Big swap onto Poet right there. Artanis looking with the. Twin blades? That's a short distance hook, and it's not gonna work out for Chromie. She goes down one to two and kills. Triple altar phase gonna be coming up soon. Sonya Leork to probably split the two altars. The sappers come in through the bottom lane, all three into the actual gate. Gate hook out from the stitches. Might have been onto a minion or something. I actually don't know what it connected onto right there. As this is going to be another swap from Artanis attempted, not connecting Lucio to back off to try and get the channel. Looks like the zoning is coming through. Leork is going to try and get over here quick enough, but too late of a rotation with that mount up. Should have gone for the Wraithwalk. That would have actually closed the distance a little bit faster because Wraithwalk actually has, what is it, 120% movement speed? Uh, actually, it maxes out at 150%. Yes, Becoming unstoppable, gaining movement speed, accelerating up to 50. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not 150. It's it's just you're accelerating in your speed. I still think that that would have been faster, honestly, than mounting and trying to get over there. Okay. Rotation into bottom. Pulse bomb onto Omar, who's able to back away. 52 stacks on the Artanis already. He's a quarter of the way to our Twitch prediction. You have, you have scored a drop. Claim now in your inventory. Claim. Claim. Don't mind me, chat. Don't mind me, chat. Just, just, just claiming my drops. Don't mind me. Uh, okay, cool. Anyways. Don't mind me, just just tabbing out really quickly. That's a kill onto Tracer right there, as we do have the Earthbind Totem coming down from the Rhaegar, as well as the uh, Healing Ward. Is it Healing Ward? Healing Totem. Ward is a ability from League of Legends, or, you know, Totem, or the, ah, the wards. <laughs> can't, I can't, I can't. I need, I need, I need to... I need to listen to hot drinks again. Single altar gonna be coming up. Uh, could be in favor for the side of Hardstuck support group. Even Talentiers for the time being. Sapper Camp once again coming through into the bottom lane. Swap from the Artanis will connect onto Ratson, who's trying to back away. A lot of damage onto the slowed stitches. He's able to waddle his way out. Wiggle, waddle, probably wiggle his way out a little bit better. Recall from Tracer, swap from Artanis. Priority onto Tracer. She's gonna try and get away, but Lucio pushes her around. Overwatch kills Overwatch. A lot of auto attacks coming out from the Artanis. Where was that one guy that loved to constantly talk about Artanis stacking? Where's that guy? I just randomly queued into Warak and rank. Uh, good luck, Jimmy. 
Are you playing on EU? I guess, does, does Warwick normally play NA? Interesting. Huh. I feel like Warwick only plays NA when, when we do Storm League days. I'm a little surprised by that. I wonder why he's playing NA. Either way, good luck in your game against Warak. I hope you uh, make sure you give him all of your Storm League points. The Graviton Surge will not connect. We have the single Sapper Camp through the bottom lane being pushed up once again by the members of Hardstuck Support Group as we do have 10 talent here. And you already saw that, uh, you already saw the Graviton Surge. There's a Grava Bomb. There's the Purifier Beam. Leap is available as well, or excuse me, Leap was already used. Sound Barrier used, everything already coming out right now. Sonya must have either used Leap to get away from Leoric or to engage onto him to put more pressure because Leoric's health is a little bit low right now. Sapper Camp, one, two, three, go into the Bell Tower through the bottom lane as Tens come through on the left-hand side. Stitches, are you going Gorge for Gorge on the Kidnap map? And Tomb Leoric, Chromie Slowing Sands, Putrid Bile for the Stitches, Ancestor Healing for that Rhaegar, and Pulse Bomb what for Tracer? What sort of Pulse Bomb upgrade did she go into? Alrighty. So one to six in kills. Things are looking good to the members of Hardstuck Support Group when it comes to Towers of Doom. Map number two in our third best of three of the day. Uh, chat, here's your eight minute warning if you're on the West Coast. Eight minute warning for the West Coasters. Uh, in tune from Leoric, but Smackcloud is still getting the channel, like, uninterrupted. And gets the channel, that's gonna be the push-off. Uh, there's a trade, Tracer for the Gazlo. Sonya's Leap will not connect onto anyone right there, as we have a very low, uh... I was gonna say a very low... Leoric, who is gonna get the Ancestor Healing, so he's pretty much back into full HP, as he has the Purifier Beam sitting right on top of him, that's gonna be... Lucio, I was like, what is that AoE? It was Lucio was uh, stopped there for a second from the Chromie. Poet getting chased right here. Arcane getting pushed around. Uh, I don't know if the Rhaegar can really get out of this one as he's going to be just constantly slowed, chased. Ah, nice bite onto the wave. So, oh no, Artanis! Does he have a blade dash? Nice wiggle from Arcane 13th as that'll not be the kill onto Rhaegar. He's able to back away. That's really surprising. Bottom lane altar does get converted back to the side of Macro Machines. Huh. Double Altar Phase coming up next in the center and the bottom, and we'll see that fairly soon. Until then, it's getting level 13s and stealing away a camp for the side of Hardstuck Support Group. Gravo Bomb, lot of damage. Ratson low, tries to back away, can't get out. Graviton Surge on the left side of our screen. Random Engineer gets hit with the Pulse Bomb. Uh, that's gonna be the Pulse Rounds as well. Charge rate from attacks inc into heroes increased by 100. Well, Tracer isn't going to be building out any percent for the next uh, 25 seconds because she's dead. We're dead. And this is going look. This is going to be... Oh, well, Alter Phase is actually going to time out with the Tracer, but she still has to make the rotation. And we're not even 12 minutes in, so there's no center point available to be able to jump into the mid area. I'm assuming this is double Alter to the side of Hardstuck Support Group. Lay claim to the altars. Do not disappoint me. All right, shots rain out from the bottom. Artanis looking to rotate in. 196 stacks already. That's a swap from Artanis. Future Bow from the Stitches. 200 dings have been achieved. Purifier Beam onto Rats and big Gravel Bomb. Big, oh my god, that is gross. Gravel Bomb plus the Graviton Surge is a nice combo, honestly. Leaping from Sonya into the back line. Sonya, does she have a spear for the Rhaegar? She has a slam. Not able to land. A kill. Uh, Tracer does go down. Well, believers rejoice because uh, Artanis does have over 200 stacks, and I don't believe he has a talent to take any of those away. We'll still pay up people at the end of the game. Until then, let's just see what happens here on Towers of Doom, map two, in our third best of three of the day. from Sonya. A little bit of wave clear. Oh, wait, hold on. That's a lot of damage into Leoric, and he's gonna go down. Mid lane is gonna start taking some structural damage. Hook out from Stitches, but doesn't pull the Artanis through the building. Still as a note, no gorge from the Stitches. He is Putra Bile. Uh, 
Stark, I love that emote so much for those moments. The Baja sad emote is, is one of my favorites that we've ever done. And I think that that emote is from, um, so I was doing a recording and Warak opened up a file. Oh, oh God, oh God, Chromie. Uh, Warak opened up a, a file from when he had worked on and that was like the freeze fl frame of the file and he sent it to me. And I was like, yep, yep, that's that's definitely, that's gonna become an emote. Artanis gonna try and back away. He bla he dashes in, gets the... That was beautiful. He blade dashes in, gets the sound barrier from Lucio, blade dashes out, takes damage that would have been fatal. Wow, that was, honestly, that was beautifully played. That was a really, I don't know if they timed that out like that, but if they did, that is insanely nice. Uh, if all three altars are channeled, it's GG. Even with mid being converted back. If they get two and then boss, the enemy will be on one HP. So, okay. So they're prioritizing two and I think they're gonna give left hand side. And they can see this, uh, the vision over here, you can see that they know, they know that Sonya's on the channel. Lucio and friends are zoning. The slam doesn't come through in time. Artanis all the way in bottom, leaping from Sonya. Slam triggers onto the boss, but that is gonna, it's not gonna be enough to end the game. Sonya very low, she tries to spin. She pops her level four, level seven, excuse me, uh, battle rage. And is gonna be able to heal up a little bit, but she doesn't sustain through all of this. I'm sorry, did some sappers go through bottom? Some sappers must have gone through bottom. Because I was like, how did some extra damage come through? Hook out from Stitches. Boss is up. That's a swap onto Poet who goes down. I think that they just go boss and end here. Uh, maybe it's a little greedy. I mean, you have Sound Barrier. You got Artanis. You could, they could have done it. They could have done it. I think. I think they could have done it. <laughs> Rhaegar takes the channel, center channel point back. No one's looking at boss just yet. Oh, there's the, there's the, the rotation. Let's get down to our blue vision really quickly, see what they're seeing. Will this be snuck? I think this is gonna be snuck. I don't think they're gonna. Team? Team? I guess, I, it's not really like, it's not really GG. Ah, oh, man, it's, oh, Leork goes in. Leork has scouted out the enemy team. But uh, yeah, that rotation is not gonna happen in time. And that is a little anticlimactic, but game number two goes over the side of uh, Hardstuck Support Group. They take the series, 2-0, GG, well played. Okie dokie, let's pay out the people. How many level one stacks for Artanis?